Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Know Your Worth. Today, I have a very special guest, business partner, and somebody I've known for a long time. This is Latoya Sutton with Global Placement Services. Introduce yourself a little bit. Yeah, thank you for having me, Wilfred. My name is Latoya Sutton. I am the founder and CEO of Global Placement Services. And what we pretty much do is we partner with organizations to help them with their staffing needs. And we also coach individuals to reach their career goals. Okay. Now, today's topic I've been hearing a lot about, people have reached out to me. It is tips to secure a job during the pandemic. Ah. Very, very important tip. So we're going to be asking Latoya some questions. And of course, I'll be um, piggybacking on the things that she said. So the first question is, what are some tips to secure a job during the pandemic? Research. Research, 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 and market yourself. Marketing yourself is the number one thing. I always tell people to create a LinkedIn profile because right now LinkedIn is where a lot of recruiters go to look for employees. Because as we know, right now it's an employee market and not more so like an employer market. Um, market yourself, create a LinkedIn profile. There is a way that you can create your profile where you're open to work, which you would notify employers that you are looking for opportunities within your skill set. Um, outside of research, I will say network. You definitely, definitely, definitely need to network, whether it's on LinkedIn, creating partnerships. Um, if you are still having networking events within your community, I would recommend going there too. But it, right now is a virtual world. So I would definitely recommend to attend different virtual events, virtual networking events, webinars, and connect and partner with people. Piggyback a little bit on what you said, your resume definitely needs to match your LinkedIn profile, like yes. word for word. So copy and paste your resume and put it in LinkedIn. Literally copy and paste it. Networking, you that you it's even more important now. Mm -hmm. And not just network going to events on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on IG. There's so many pages who are that that are dedicated to what you're looking for. And not just there, social media. Mm -hmm. Utilize social media, take advantage of social media. There are different groups. Like for instance, our field and recruitment, there's different recruiting groups. So you can partner with different recruiters because they may know of different opportunities that have not been advertised yet. It can be a brand new company that has tons and tons of sponsorships and they need the right person. So if you network with people within your field, or even if you're looking to get into a different industry, you wanna look into networking with those people too so that you can secure that job within the pandemic. Now, just to share, just to throw something out there, you know, I know that a lot of people are looking to work from home. No one really wants to go back out into the field, right? Some people, very few that I came across that want to go out into the field, but a lot of people that's in retail no longer wants to work in retail. They want to work from home. And there's definitely opportunities that you can apply to by working from home. You can look on Indeed, again, create that LinkedIn profile, as you mentioned, make sure your resume is up to date, make sure you have a very clean resume, you can go back and look at some of the videos that we shared about having the right resume to get in front of that employer, because that resume is what's going to secure that first interview and that interview is going to secure that job. So if you are looking at one of those people who want to go into like a virtual employment, then you want to make sure that you have a quiet working area. That is so important. And the way that you will show up to an in-person interview, you want to show up that way in a virtual interview. So you want to look, you know, professional, of course, you want to dress to impress. You want to make sure that you're also still taking notes. And a lot of people like the face-to-face -face interview because you can read body language and then you can have that connection. And sometimes it can still be hard for people to have that connection virtually, but then you can also sh show some type of virtual body language to keep engaged with the interviewer and the interviewee. And smile. <laughs> something you said earlier on LinkedIn, type in the, the bar at the very top, the search bar, recruiters who recruit for whatever you're looking for. Recruiters who recruit for nursing, recruiters who recruit for analysts, recruiters who recruit for recruiters is what I have used in the past. And that's how you'll be able to use that tool to its full extent. And that is what you're that is what you're looking for. Now, something else you said, a virtual interview sometimes can also be a phone interview. Yeah. 
Be engaged. Mm -hmm. Say, let them know that you're listening. Do yep. not go quiet. Because if I have to say, are you listening? Or if I'm thinking that, you're not going to be somebody we pick. It's just not. And more than likely, your first interview is going to be a phone interview, just to start with. And I think it also depends on the type of role that you're applying to as well. Because if personality is a big factor within customer service, you definitely want to showcase that via phone. Because recruiters write ups, this person was very friendly via the telephone. You know, just like you want to make sure that you're friendly virtually, just like you want to make sure you're friendly in a person. Same way that you'll do an in-person interview is the same way that you would do a virtual interview and also a phone interview. But you have to be engaged and ask great questions. Bring the questions that you want to know the answer to so that it shows that you're highly interested in that role. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Never forget to ask questions. Mm -hmm. you're not just being interviewed, you're interviewing the company. This is a first date type scenario. Don't go quiet because they'll think, oh, they're not interested. Let me go to the next person. <laughs> all that nervousness, and I get it. All of us are nervous. Let's just be clear. But you have to be in your situation where it's like, I deserve this. Mm -hmm. They should be nervous about hiring you. You have to look at it from that point of view. They should be nervous about hiring you. Let's go a little bit more into this. How do you network virtually? Because there used to be a bunch of just networking events. I've been to several. Right. Atlanta. Um, you could go to a networking event every week. Right. Without fail. At one or two on the low end. How would you say, let's, I, I'm new to an area. Okay. I'm new. I don't know anything about this area. It could be city. It could also be I'm new to this um, industry. How would you suggest I go about finding ways to get into that industry? That's that's good. First, know your industry. You got to know your industry. Two, you have to research. You have to research. There are so many different webinars that is out there, social media events um, where people are, people are hosting their own networking events mm -hmm. um, or their niche Um you want to join those groups. You want to participate in those groups and you want to communicate with the people that are also participating in that event. So get to know them. Hey, I noticed by looking at your profile that you that you are in the same field as me. Let's connect. Here is my phone number. Here is my email. Connect with people on that level as well and stay in contact. Connect with them on LinkedIn. I always tell people, find people on LinkedIn and connect with them. If they have a social media page that is out there, which is an employee or employer page, then you can also connect with them on that level as well. Yeah. But it definitely goes from researching and knowing what industry you want to go into and where those events are. But there are a ton of virtual events, even not just in the area. It can be globally. It can be nationwide. So you can definitely participate and join those groups as well. 